Welcome to the Chess Moderators Tutorial. This tutorial will guide you through the steps and options available for the session you will be chairing. Please make sure you can log in to the conference platform ahead of your session time and write to the help desk if you have any issues. Check role assignment. As soon as you first log into the platform, Please check if your profile lists all the sessions you are involved in as a speaker and moderated chair. This ensures that you will have correct access to the session when it's live. If the session is not listed in your profile, please contact scientific at thunion.org immediately. Click on the Zoom link which was sent to you by email for your session. The Zoom room will be open 30 minutes before the start of the session. Make sure to test that the video and audio are working. A technician will arrive in the Zoom room a few minutes before the session to assist you. Only yourself, the co-chair, the speakers and the technician will be in the Zoom room. You can use the Zoom chat whenever necessary during the session to chat with the co-chair and or the speakers. The audience will not read the messages posted in this Zoom chat. Join your session 10 minutes prior to the start time on the conference platform. Go to your profile and then click on My Sessions. Please note that your session will only open 10 minutes before the start. Please note that you should have both the Zoom call window and the session window from the conference platform open on your screen. Please make sure the sound on the video in the conference platform is off to avoid any echo. You and your co-chair start the live introduction for the session once the producer gives the go-ahead. Important! Please do not exceed the introduction time allocated to you. Going over the time allocated for introduction will result in a shorter queue and a segment. The session must end on time to allow the next session to start as planned. Watch the pre-recorded presentations. Keep an eye on the questions which will start to come in from the audience in the conference platform. After all presentations have been broadcast, you and the co-chair will start the live queue and a with the speakers. Please make sure to keep track of time to allow as many questions as possible to be answered and so the session can end on time as well. Here is how the tools on the conference platform work. Inside the session room on the conference platform, on the right hand side of the screen, you will see the following icons, these are, top to bottom, room settings, connected participants, open chat, hand raise, not applicable in live streams, and Q&A. The moderated chairperson is expected to read and select the questions to ask the presenters during the Q&A. Moderators, chairpersons and speakers can write in the public chat. Room settings. Show room title. This enables and disables the session titled banner, for example welcome keynote. Show pop-up messages. This enables and disables the pop-up messages displayed to the users. Connected participants. This lists all participants currently in the session room, including moderators. Open chat. The open chat is an environment for participants to chat with each other or post content that is not a direct question to the speaker or moderated chairperson. Important! You do not need to moderate the chat, only the Q&A. See next slide. Questions can be submitted to the moderated chairperson using the questions section. As a moderator or chairperson, you will be tasked with receiving, sorting, publishing and when it is time, asking the questions from the audience to the speakers. All questions are invisible not shown to the audience until they have been published by clicking the publish button. Questions from users come in under the new heading, once published. All questions will display under the published tab and will be visible to the audience. Questions can also be dismissed if they are not appropriate. Published questions can be upvoted by the audience to distinguish which questions are most interesting to the wider group. This is displayed with the number next to the thumbs up icon. If the speaker answers the questions live in the video call, you can select answered live. Once pressed, a pop-up appears over the live stream displaying the question and the name of the participant who asked it. End of session. Note that the session must end on time, so that the next session can start as planned. The producer will warn you that the time is up and ask you to wrap up. Once the producer leaves the Zoom, 
it will close the Zoom for everyone. You have completed the tutorial. Thank you for agreeing to chair a session in our conference.